I'm going to go over the PTG profile settings that I have. This is typical. I have mine on low porch. I made a video on this. The settings that I changed are mainly over here. I'm using the Energetics PEI plate. It works best at 69. High temp for me works best with 58 for a smooth PEI. The engineer plate I am using specifically for my custom G10 plate. And then the cool plate is just a cool plate. For my general speed, these are my settings that I'm currently using. The only real change I made was over here. I personally like putting it 0 0.165. It gives a nice surface for supports while being also easy to remove for the most part. So that's just the fast profile. And this one is the similar to minifigs. I just call it keychains because I'm mostly making keychains with this profile, but this is basically a minifigure profile. Of course, this is all subject to change. This is just what's working for me perfectly right now. If you want to change settings, you can use this as a basis. You can build off of whatever settings that I have. And that's pretty much it. All of the prettings that I've been doing with these, I made them just off the original standard. And then just based off of generic PTG. I just changed, you know, obviously the speeds, the stock speeds for me personally were a little too fast and the stock temperature was also very low. It could not keep up. So for it to be, be able to print fast, I had to bump this the nozzle temperature up to 280 for its average temperature, but I also had to drop down the speed by quite a bit. It still gets me fast prints compared to my old Anycubic X5 or Anycubic i3 Mega. Uh, when I would make small keychains, it would take an hour per keychain. Now each keychain takes about, I'd say 20 minutes to make, which is a major improvement. 